Hey guys, it's Postbots Pat. Welcome back to a new video and today I can finally bring you guys some new content after fixing my computer after hours and hours and hours. I'm so happy to have my computer up and running again. Unfortunately, I had to wipe the hard drive completely to fix it. My hard drive completely blew up. It wouldn't even load any of the files. So I've just completely wiped my computer and started all again. So I've still got a bit of old content on hard drives and stuff, but I think we'll be going fresh from now on. Anyway, let's get straight into this video and kind of show you guys exactly what's been going on with this new blitz mode and what has appeared within the community well if you guys don't already know blitz solo showdown has appeared within the community and you can 20, earn thousand v bucks for your region now bear in mind this is based on all different regions and stuff so you've got all of the different regions from north america to like the west side the east side of america the europe servers the brazilian servers all of these different servers are going to allow you to access these prizes now the prizes are a lot lower than last time because it's obviously spread across a bigger audience but we've got for example here first place is 20,000 v bucks second to fifth place is 13,500 and sixth to 100 is 7,500 now myself not being a very competitive player I'm gonna give you guys an honest review of this and if you are so desperate to win these like v bucks kind of talk you guys through it and give you the honest view of it because let's be honest and let's be truthful about this most of you watching this video near enough 90% 99.9% of you watching this video right now are possibly not even gonna win the v box now why am i saying that well last like kind of solo attempt at this there were absolute tons of people playing it and the winners and the top people were losing probably one game out of all of them and at least coming in the top 10 in that lost game and having a bunch of kills now they have changed up the rules slightly so you do have more of a chance of getting it but to be up there is going to be pretty difficult and pretty hard. Now, where do I want to start with this and the point system and how should I get into this? Well, let's rock into it and talk a little bit about how you guys can still win the V-Bucks. Now, obviously, you've got to compete in it to win. And in this game here, you'll see exactly why I won't be winning them V-Bucks. And unfortunately, I don't exactly lose... But you guys will see what happens to me and it isn't the best and it stops me from winning the V-Bucks. But let me explain to you guys exactly how you guys can get access to these V-Bucks point wise. Now, as you remember last time, they had the placement system coming first, as you can see on screen right now, would give you a total of 100 points going down to ninth there, which gives you a total of 65. You can see all the different points for the different places. You really want to be coming in that top three every single game. However, they have added in a new feature. Personally, this is pretty cool because you could be coming in the top three every game and averaging above 10 kills per game because now they've added in the feature that allows you to earn three points per each kill in the game. The average kills they said they were getting was around 4.5 each game, somewhere around there on the last like version of this solo showdown. And the games were actually extremely long compared to a normal solo game. So they've decided to change it and added this ability in to gain three points per kill. So if you're getting 10 kills per game and you're winning or coming in the top three, you could potentially be between earning between 130 points and 121 points that will definitely give you guys a good chance at earning them vivo now if you have already started on your solo showdown and maybe you've come in the top 50 and the top 100 let's be honest here that's myself there is no point in intending or even attempting it to try and win the v bucks but there's no harm in playing the game mode as a normal showdown game mode and trying your best to stop other people from winning the v bucks let's be honest compared to last season's results we actually have no enough no chance at all at winning these v bucks it isn't really evenly spread to like the lower tier players who aren't the best at the game myself could compete in this to a high level if i was in the zone and i could play it but for tw you only have to play 25 games this time which isn't that many but for 25 games worth of my time each lasting 20 minutes i could possibly earn that by like doing something else and be able to buy the v bucks by doing a different job elsewhere or doing something else that i could possibly do maybe selling some old stuff like clothes and stuff and you guys would gain access access to it that way let's just think of it that way if you're desperate if you're doing it for the v-bucks but in general it's not just about the v-bucks personally i didn't like i wouldn't attempt this just for the v-bucks i play this because i enjoy the game mode when i play solo showdown i play it because i want to play solo and it's just a more competitive version of it and let's be honest you're not going to win the v-bucks if you do congratulations to you and you really have stood out within the fortnite community getting that standout position though 
isn't a sort of thing that most of us can do and there's a lot of youtubers out there who probably won't be able to do this there's only the select few who could possibly do this and they're the ones who just play fortnite 24 7. personally i love to play fortnite as much as i can but i have got full-time education as well on the side so i do struggle to get in them games and sometimes i even struggle to compete in the competition for example last time i only got 40 games in and i was a little bit short from the 50 mark and possibly i could have been up there with the top players if i really did concentrate a little bit but i did come in the i I think I came 80th in one of the games and I just knew that knocked me down. Having that happen to you is really not going to make you win and you've just got to get them right decisions and them right feels correct for the right moment to be able to win this. And if you are an average Fortnite player or you consider yourself maybe slightly better than me or slightly worse than me, I don't know what you consider yourself on a scale, but you've got to consider, you know, you have to think, will you be able to win this? Will you be able to beat other players at it? The answer is yes and no. There is different regions you can try this in and I don't know the answer to this. You guys may know the answer to this question I'm about to ask right now. Does it matter if I can compete in different regions? For example, if I was to compete in the North American region, I failed in that. Could I switch maybe to the North, uh, maybe to the like the Brazilian region or maybe Europe or North America West or North America East. Obviously, there's two different ones. Could you switch between them? I don't know. That's a question left unanswered. And also, does it count between all platforms? Another question left unanswered, exactly not 100% explained. But them two questions are something that I have been looking into. I just couldn't find something. I've read a lot of the stuff. I haven't read all of it because a lot of in the terms and conditions for the competition. But obviously, you know, that's the way you want to know about stuff like that. But them two questions aren't major. If anyone does know the answer for them, do leave the comment down below. It will be interesting. But anyway, carrying on with the strategy you guys want to use to get that victory if you're trying to get your victory you just really want to play really stealthy keep positioning yourself in good positions don't let anyone get in your way try and stick to the edge of the circle but because it's blitz consider the circle moving every single like keep an eye on that timer near enough every single like five seconds keep having a look at that timer see what's going on see where the positioning is the net where the next circle is going to be i did mess up once in this game and it's something i always do in blitz and to be honest you've just got to be careful you've got to judge that right situation you can see how i've just stayed in fate fields the entire game it's where the storm landed and i just completely just kind of stealthed it out got in a good position and to be honest i probably could have gone on and won this game and you'll see exactly why that doesn't happen in a moment but you know i've got i can see them fighting don't engage in big combat unless you say if you've got maybe like you've come in like the top 80 a few times then you know you're not going to win the tournament so you may as well just engage in as much combat as you can kill as many people as you can to play as much aggressive like as as aggressive as you want here's a little thing that could have happened to me if i didn't have the launch pad that storm would have guaranteed killed me the storm is extremely deadly doing 10 dps you're going to get absolutely wiped out by the storm if you aren't on top of it and you aren't moving with the storm the best you can now there's someone in that metal base there and for some reason they've got a refund at this time i didn't actually realize they had a refund and i'm just consistently keep moving what i'm doing is getting my loot to the best i can i've got full shield unfortunately my health's a little bit uh, like a little bit low not really what i wa wanted but I've positioned myself pretty well. I've got a nice little height advantage. I'm grabbing this chest here, hoping for meds. I don't really want to use that chug jug, but I'm in a position now where six people left. This is like the average position you want to get to. You want to be able to position yourself to get that bit to your royale. Now, the end fight can be a little bit skeptical. You don't exactly know what's going to happen just because there's so many different people running in usually. you got like five or six people. I've played a few of these games. I've played a total of three uh, within the showdown and lows before the showdown. And in general, Blitz can be quite hectic in the last like moving circle, should I say. It's a little bit off topic, but you do have to be older than 16. And this does run till Friday, this competition. When you're watching this video, it will end on the Friday after. So it's running a week. So I believe that will be the 8th of june maybe am i correct there yep the 8th of june that is correct so i'm pushing this guy up here i know he's built a roof on his base so i know i've got a good chance i have no idea why he did this and i know i've got to be careful here because he could edit out and shoot me so what i'm doing here is i build a little one by one on top of his base with stairs knowing that if he edits i can locate him and the advantage of this is i've can build a little window to my right and take him out now unfortunately we're in a position now where we most likely would have won the game i've got amazing guns i've got amazing weapons and as i kill this guy you can see what i use here i use my lmg to break in i know he's in there i see the launch pad which comes in really handy in a moment i drop down i get my little shotgun out and boom one shot to the head perfect strike easily done bandages there to heal up perfectly done i can grab them bandages take out this trap quick the storm is coming keep an eye on that grab the bandages get them really really quick get them equipped for the lmg i won't be needing that anymore get the grenade launcher get the bandages and i was sorted ready to move in i grabbed my like what i was going to do is i would have landed and boom unfortunately my fortnite did crash so i was just in a situation where i couldn't show the rest of the footage i couldn't even play the rest of the game 
and I didn't win. So that to me is a loss for me on that Fortnite challenge and I know I'm not going to win now. And I tried my best. I was doing really well the game before I came in the top three. And in that one there, I possibly could have come in the top three as well with a bunch of kills. So, you know, these games are good, but if something like that's going to happen, you've just got to say to yourself, it's just the way it happens and things like this do happen within the game there are glitches and stuff so do consider stuff like that do consider are you really going to try really hard to win this maybe you should try really hard in the first few games and if you're coming like low numbers or you're just not getting many kills you know you got to say to yourself i'm not going to win the v box but let's just have fun playing the game mode that's simply what you got to do but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe if you are new to the channel do stick around for daily fortnite content it was a shame about that i didn't expect that to happen at all but i hope this guys does help you guys out and help you understand a little bit about these competitions hopefully you can kind of get more of insight to it and maybe think about do you really want to compete in them completely competitive or just want to have fun and play the game and just carry on buying v bucks rather than trying to win them because trying to win v bucks this way is possibly probably not the best way you want to do it but you know what i mean you get the idea hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and once again this is postbots pat signing out